nomadic Kyrgyz people gave birth to the rich culture that has become a timeless treasure. As part of the clothing culture within it, Akalpak is one of the national headwear kinds whose making techniques have been carefully preserved throughout the centuries. Akalpak truly differentiates the Kyrgyz costume and is safeguarded as one of the main national treasures. Akalpak is a headwear for men. It is worn by men of all ages, from infant boys to mature, white-bearded old men. Our national headwear fits men of any age very well. In fact, one could guess the age of a man by the material used for decorations and by the patterns of the akalpak he was wearing. Besides, the shape of the head could also give away the wearer's social status. Whereas Akalpak is an everyday headwear, it is also considered to be a national symbol of the Kyrgyz people. That is because our ancestors said that the Alato Mountains were the crown of the Kyrgyz land and that Akalpak was the crown of the nomadic Kyrgyz people. Even a golden crown is not a worthy exchange for an Akalpak, were the words of wisdom of the elders to boys, whom they taught to wear an Akalpak and never drop it. They regarded giving their headwear to other people akin to giving away the crown. People believe that Akalpak has the same qualities as the Kyrgyz mountains that possess the greatness, power, purity and sacredness that protect the Kyrgyz people and their land. Since the nomadic man copied the immense beauty of heaven-supporting mountains onto their headwear, their gorgeous look, forbidding heights, and secret holding depth, the Kyrgyz man wearing Akalpak believe that to the present day the qualities of their headwear remain and attract the nature's beauty and sacred powers to them. Akalpak is worn during all seasons. Because this headwear is made of natural felt, it keeps the head warm in cold weather and repels the heat when it's hot. Hence, it doesn't go out of fashion in everyday use. It is respected and valued and enjoys unwavering demand not only in line with the tradition, but also because it's very practical, comfortable, lightweight and beautiful. Kyrgyz women sewed akalpak specially for their husbands, sons or grandsons or ordered them from craftswomen. Our foremothers had a special feature. Whatever craft work they engaged in, they also ingrained or weaved their inner wishes in the product of their work. That way, they built their wishes in a concealed amulet into each akalpak they made for their husband or son, certainly wishing them good health and long life, courage and astuteness, virility and humaneness. The main bearers and practitioners of Akkalpak craftsmanship are Akkalpak craftswomen. They transmit their knowledge and skills in a traditional way, from the master to apprentice, via oral coaching, practical demonstration and joint making in the workshop. For them, Akkalpak craftsmanship is a vocation, important activity in life, which they enrich through their skills and mastery and pass on to the next generation. In general, Akkalpak is white and depending on its making technique can have the following designs Tuyuk, folded kalpak, ekitala, two faced kalpak, and turtala, four faced kalpak. The traditional process of headwear making consists of the following stages. First, felting, cutting and sewing, and second, embroidery of patterns. One group of Akalpa craftswomen is responsible for felting, cutting and sewing of headwear. Some craftswomen prepare felt for making Akalpaks themselves. Usually the felt is made of fine fleeced sheep wool. Others, mostly those living in urban areas, use ready-made felt. There are over 80 kinds of akalpak, and the craftswomen do the cutting and sewing based on the specific kind. Another group of akalpak craftswomen are responsible for the embroidery. 
Embroidery is a highly important activity because each of the patterns carries a special meaning and can be interpreted in a particular way. From the ancient times, the Kyrgyz people believe that the patterns are living beings through which one can transmit common information, certain symbols, and even energy. That is exactly why the Kyrgyz people use the term living patterns. Depending on the type of the akkalpak and its purpose, the craftswomen embroider the corresponding patterns and ornaments. There are also akkalpak craftswomen who possess all of the skills such as felting, sewing, and embroidery. Usually, these are experienced masters who take individual orders. In recent years, upon the special initiative of individuals and representatives of the akkalpak craftswomen community, people have celebrated the day of Akkalpak on March the 5th. Also, there are currently a lot of organizations, scholars and students who carry out high visibility activities such as exhibitions, festivals and seminars dedicated to safeguarding the continuity of the main traditional Kyrgyz headwear making techniques as cultural heritage. Of course, the main objective is to increase the visibility and awareness of the Akkalpak craftsmanship to explain its meaning, value and significance and to pass on its greatness, necessity and relevance to the next generations. Right in front of us, our valuable cultural heritage is proliferating along with the great nomadic era. We need to take care of safeguarding it in a timely manner to ensure we do not lose it as time races by. We are the community of Akkalpak craftswomen who have been carefully safeguarding the Akkalpak craftsmanship for many centuries and transmitting from generation to generation the cultural heritage of Kyrgyz people. We support an initiative to present the Akkalpa craftsmanship to the UNESCO representative list and we hope that this element will be inscribed. Oh.